Calcitriol is a man-made form of vitamin D that helps control parathyroid hormone and the levels of certain minerals needed for building and keeping strong bones. It is used in patients with kidney disease who can't make enough of the active form of vitamin D. This medication is also used to prevent and treat certain types of calcium, phosphorus, and parathyroid problems that can happen with long-term kidney dialysis or hypoparathyroidism. Calcitriol is usually taken along with specific diet recommendations and sometimes other medications. It is important to follow the daily dosage and take it at the optimal time to get the most benefit. Now let's talk about how to take calcitriol. Your doctor will usually recommend taking it once a day, either with or without food. If you're using the liquid form, make sure to measure your dose with a special measuring spoon or device, not a regular household spoon. The dosage will depend on your medical condition, and your doctor may start you on a low dose and adjust it gradually. It's important to take this medication regularly at the same time each day to get the most benefit from it. Also, make sure to follow the diet recommended by your doctor to maximize the benefits of this medication and to prevent serious side effects. Avoid taking other supplements or vitamins, like calcium or vitamin D, unless your doctor tells you to. If you're taking certain medications like bile acid sequestrants, mineral oil, or Orlistat, they can decrease the absorption of vitamin D. Try to take these medications at least two hours apart from your doses of calcitriol, or even longer if possible. It may be easiest to take calcitriol at bedtime if you're also taking these other medications. Be sure to ask your doctor or pharmacist for a good dosing schedule that works with all your medications. Calcitriol is a medication that is generally well tolerated and does not usually have side effects. Your doctor may monitor your calcium and phosphate levels in your blood and adjust your dose if you do experience any side effects. It's important to remember that your doctor has prescribed this medication because they believe the benefits outweigh the potential risks of side effects. Many people who take this medication do not experience any serious side effects. If you do experience any side effects, it's important to let your doctor know right away. Some of the side effects to watch out for include loss of appetite, pain in your back, bones, joints, or muscles, constipation, dry mouth, eye pain, headaches, changes in heartbeat, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, sleepiness, stomach pain, increased thirst, and signs of kidney problems such as changes in urine production or weakness. While it's rare, a serious allergic reaction to this medication can occur. If you notice any symptoms of a serious allergic reaction, such as rash, swelling, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing, seek medical help immediately. This is not a complete list of potential side effects, so if you notice any other effects not mentioned here, be sure to contact your doctor or pharmacist. As for the daily dosage and optimal timing for taking calcitriol, these details should be discussed with your doctor as they may vary depending on your individual needs and medical condition. Before taking calcitriol, it's important to let your doctor know if you are allergic to it, other vitamin D products, or have any other allergies. This medication may contain inactive ingredients that can cause allergic reactions or other problems, so be sure to talk to your pharmacist for more details. Before using this medication, make sure to inform your doctor or pharmacist about your medical history, especially if you have high calcium levels, heart disease, or kidney disease. If you will be having surgery or will be immobile for a long time, notify your doctor beforehand, as being immobile for long periods of time increases your risk of side effects. It's important to drink plenty of fluids unless otherwise directed by your doctor, as this can help with the medication's effectiveness. During pregnancy, this medication should only be used when clearly needed, so be sure to discuss the risks and benefits with your doctor. It's also important to consult your doctor before breastfeeding, as it is unknown if this drug passes into breast milk. It's important to be aware of possible interactions with other medications when taking calcitriol. This includes drugs like burosumab, digoxin, and magnesium-containing medications. It's also important to be cautious with other products that may contain calcium, magnesium, phosphate, and vitamin D, as they may interact with calcitriol. It's best to check with your pharmacist before using any of these products. As calcitriol is similar to other forms of vitamin D, it's advised not to use medications containing other forms of vitamin D while taking calcitriol. Additionally, be aware that calcitriol may interfere with certain lab tests, so it's important to inform lab personnel and your doctors that you are taking this medication. 
It's important to note that this information is not an exhaustive list of all possible drug interactions, so it's best to keep a list of all the products you use and share it with your doctor and pharmacist to ensure your safety. Always consult with your doctor before starting, stopping, or changing the dosage of any medicines. If someone takes too much calcitriol and experiences severe symptoms like passing out or difficulty breathing, it's important to call 911 or a poison control center immediately. In the U.S., you can reach the local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222. Canadian residents can contact a provincial poison control center. Symptoms of overdose may include weakness, headache, loss of appetite, metallic taste, nausea, vomiting, stomach cramps, and dizziness. When taking calcitriol, it's important not to share this medication with others. Your doctor may also want you to have regular lab and medical tests to monitor your calcium, magnesium, phosphorus, and parathyroid levels. Make sure to keep all of your medical and lab appointments and consult your doctor for more details. To increase your vitamin D intake, you can eat foods like fortified dairy products, eggs, sardines, cod liver oil, chicken livers, and freshwater fish. Vitamin D can also be obtained from periodic exposure to the sun. It's important to maintain a well-balanced diet while taking calcitriol, and your doctor may recommend calcium supplements in addition to this medication. The usual recommendation for calcium is 600 to 1,200 mg per day, but it's important to discuss this with your doctor before taking any supplements. If you forget to take a dose, take it as soon as you remember. If it's almost time for your next dose, just skip the missed one and take the next dose at your regular time. Don't take extra doses to make up for the missed one. It's important to store calcitriol at room temperature, away from light and moisture. Make sure to keep it out of the bathroom and away from children and pets. If you no longer need the medication or it's expired, be sure to properly discard it. You can consult your pharmacist or local waste disposal company for guidance on how to do this. And remember, never flush medications down the toilet or pour them into a drain unless instructed to do so. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.